You know, for uh, years, I heard, um, especially my black students, tell me, yo, young Pharaoh, th this guy's on your level. This guy's this. This guy's this. All right. All right. I mean, he's a 33 life path. Got to take some of it, you know. All right. Cool. Uh, I, st I do what I usually do. I, f you know, st start attacking people on Twitter. Some of them respond. And young Pharaoh responded after a month. And I'm like, let's, let's talk. And he's like, about what? I'm like, Zionism, race, all sorts of stuff. He agreed. See, he probably thought I was going to go in there and he was going to lecture me. <laughs> I ended that boy's career. I literally ended his career. There's going to be no comeback for him. It's over. Okay. Now, um, GG33 gold members. He's born 830, 1993. So it's easy to see why he fell off. But the fact of the matter is, this guy is a rooster. And he wanted to go at me in his enemy year. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not a good idea. You see, this is this is the thing. This guy was big back in the day. He, he, he was the man back in the day. So now what people seem to be telling me is uh, this guy's been cloned. He's been fucked up. This is a shell of himself. And guys, I hope that's the case. Because if that's not and this is the best out there, Oh, my. Oh, my. I'm going to run through everyone like a fucking back truck. You know, at, at least Pharaoh had the balls to delete into uh, the balls to debate me. He didn't really know who I was. If he did and he saw what I did to other people, he wouldn't do that. Like, for instance, uh, Sartain. Sartain thinks he's the man with the baits. I fucking <laughs> tore his spine out. On his own show. You want to know how we know that I beat him in this debate? Because he might have got like a hundred thousand views off that. I got literally a hundred million views crushing this guy in a debate. No one on this app wants no fucking heat. No one on this app wants any fucking smoke. I'll fucking put every single person who wants to debate me into the ground. You know, because I'm multi. See, I don't know just about numerology and astrology. I don't know just about history. I don't know just about certain subjects. I know about it all. It's at least, at least what I want to know about. Okay? The things I think are important. If you t ask me about pop culture, eh, you know, it's like whatever. If I need to know something like that, I'll call some of my younger students. I don't give a fuck about any of this. As a matter of fact, um, I got in this podcast game, uh, what, six, four, four or five months ago? I didn't even fucking even know who Aiden Ross was. I didn't know who any of these fucking people were. And within a few months, I've already got my name in the circles. Ugh. I, I'm, I'm really disappointed uh, for all, all these people who are telling me this guy, Pharaoh, was the man. I, I was expecting a real debate, and he just starts calling me a monkey. <laughs> a black man starts calling a white man a monkey. What strange Twilight Zone we're in, brother. But it's okay. I didn't go down to racist names because that's the one privilege the black man has. He can talk all that racist bullshit he wants. I say anything, and again, I'm not Zerka to be saying and this and that. That's his ball game. I I, I can only go so far. So, but it doesn't matter. It's so petty. None of that shit really fucking matters because no matter what you're talking about, I can pick it apart. Let, let's go through what this clown was saying yesterday. First, he said um, he's going to be a trillionaire. <laughs> are you on fucking drugs? And I want to know what they are because, brother, you got to be delusional as fuck to think that your fucking ass is going to ever be a trillionaire. Second. This man kept saying over and over he's been abducted by aliens. A any evidence, any proof of this, or did you just have a bad dream, my dude? You know, th th this is all nonsense, man. 
You have like at least some people been abducted. Say, yo, listen, my left bone is where my right bone is, and the doctors have proved this. Yeah, that that's evidence. That's evidence. But no, nah, dude, not what the fuck you're doing. Not what the fuck you're doing. I mean, and at the very last, I want men and women to listen to this alike. If you choose to have a child with somebody, that is, unless you're a whore or a slut, that's one of the biggest decisions you will make in your life. And if you as a man choose to impregnate a woman, and then this woman starts betraying you, as he said, drugs you, starts doing this and this to you, my dude, you're not a good judge of character. And that is one of the qualifications for being a leader. Being someone who can recognize. People don't want to hear that stuff. People never do. Because I'm the only one here and some other GG3 members who keep it fucking real. When that man was insulting me, insulting Jews, insulting white people, remember what I said? I said white, black, Asian, Hispanic, uh, Arab, everyone is welcome in GG33. I don't give a fuck about race. I do care about your political ideology. That I do care about. And it's very obvious from what this fucking young Farrakhan, what he said yesterday, that he is a CCP asset. This is a man who made his bag in America because of capitalism, because it allowed him to flourish. Then the motherfucker fell off and starts saying, oh, I'm going to suck the CCP's dick. Huh. Shame. Just shameful. Shameful behavior. You know how many fucking people I know who are rich? And a lot of them happen to be black. I can call up three black men right now on the phone. And they're all worth more, more than $100 million. Fact. I will say this. I will say this, though. Nigerians seem to be like the Jews of the white race. Nigerians seem to be very, very intelligent. And I believe, and again, if you guys think this is racist, I don't give a fuck. I believe Nigerians are the smartest version of black people on the world. I just see it almost every week. I have a lot of students from Nigeria. How the fuck did they get that money to fucking join GG33? Straight up hustlers. Straight hustlers. So if um, Jewish people are considered white people, we all know Jews are the smartest whites. The Nigerians are by far the smartest blacks. Obviously, this is not taking into account numerology and astrology. This is not taking into account, you know, if someone's born on the 7, 16, 25th, there were seven white paths. Nigerians are, you know what? I would really, really enjoy taking all these KKK members and putting him with the best of Nigeria. And then I want to see how they would say that they're the smartest and most superior race. There is no smartest, most superior race. We're all better at something than others. And we all have been on top at some point. Every single race on this planet has been on top. When the Moors fucking went into Spain, fucking raped all the women, enslaved all the men. They did that for over 700 fucking years. Because they were the top of the food chain. And did you know the Chinese, once they were the center of civilization? They, the Chinese were so ahead of everyone else in the 14, 1500s, they called, called us all barbarians. The Indians, the, the blacks, the, the whites were all fucking barbarians to them. So they decided, you know what, let's just separate from the world. And they built this big fucking wall. 
stretched thousands of miles, man. And again, it, some of it was be, to protect from the Huns and Genghis Khan. But a lot of it was because they did not want to mix with other races because they had more technology, more knowledge at that time than any race in the world. What happened? 300 years ago, 300 years later in the 1800s, all of a sudden the colonists came with gunboats because they started trading technology with each other and they went past the Chinese because the Chinese thought they were better than everyone else and they thought, we don't need these barbarians. And in 300 years, those barbarians learn how to use gunpowder and make gunships and all of a sudden now you're their bitch. That's how the game works, folks. People don't want to tell you this. The Ottoman Empire, by the way, the closest thing to the United States of America that has ever existed in history. Not the not the UK, but the Ottoman Empire. And in the Ottoman Empire, Arabs and Muslims were running the show. And they had a very, very fair system to the world in, in those days. As a matter of fact, if I was living in the 17, 16, 1500s, I would not choose to live in fucking Europe. I would choose to live in the Ottoman Empire. These are, these are just straight facts. People need to learn their history. The Ottoman Empire was honestly one of the greatest countries in human history. Obviously, they had their problems. Obviously, they were dissolved after World War I. Um, modern day Ottoman Empire is Turkey. That's all that's left. And obviously, that's a shell of its own self, especially with their president. Freaking horse thinks he knows everything. Anyways, listen, guys, I'm not going to go too far off tangent. If anyone wants to come in here and say a few things, you're more than welcome. But you got it like a minute because I'm probably going to shut this thing down. I just want to come in here, say that um, I'm disappointed. There's no one on Twitter who wants to spar with me. There's no one on Twitter who wants to debate me. No one. Absolutely no one. But, you know, it is what it is. All right, Philippe. What's on your mind? I've made you the speaker, so you got to speak. Hello? Yes, sir. What's on your mind? Uh, I just wanted to comment on Pharaoh. Um, I used to follow him back way when he was popular, and like you said, I don't know what happened to him. But, but yeah, the, so, so I, I don't know him from back then. The, that, that person I debated yesterday, is, is that like a shell of what Pharaoh used to be? Yeah, like you said, it just... Um, delusional. I don't know. He back then he was speaking facts, but I don't know what happened now. He's just like diluted, like not even probably just ten percent of him. But you, yeah, because I, I gotta say I was extremely disappointed with you know the person I was debating, man. Because I'm like, really, you're gonna start calling me a monkey, bro? Like, what the fuck? Yep. Yeah, and then he starts talking about aliens. Then he starts talking about his apps. He does this. I'm like, bro, I'm looking at your freaking channel. You got a couple thousand followers. I understand you got canceled. I understand all that. Then he says he's got billions of views. I'm looking. I'm like, bro, I, I, on your IG, you got 3,000 views. So the, the man looks just straight up delusional to me. Yep, I agree. And yeah, that's all I had to say. Uh, all right, brother. Um, a la last thing, did I not just tear that dude a new one yesterday? You did. You made him look like a fool, and um, the, the fool that the fool that he is, my friend. Noel, uh, I know you have something to say about that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yo, that podcast was straight comedy for the three day. I'll tell you that. But um... now, hey, l l listen, I wish. 
I wish I could post that stuff on TikTok. I wish I could post that stuff on my IG, but I know how it'll fucking be it. Delete. See, that's the difference between me and Zerka. When Zerka has stuff like that, it'll be all over. I, I just can't do that. Yeah, man. I like just to be honest, bro, for people listening, anybody who has that many tattoos, especially one on their face, like you can't take yeah. someone like that serious. Nope. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, listen, dude. Well, I mean, no one else has the benefit of the tattoo class except, you know, the people at the top level is a GG3. But, you know, guys, you don't need to put that many ta- tattoos on you. That's that's ridiculous. I mean, besides, like, what, what you taught us, like, just what I know off of tattoos, like, tattoos are like they they put holes in your temple, right? They put holes in your body. If you have them uncovered, you're just allowing you know different entities to enter into your body. Yeah, it, it, think of think of your body like a force field, and the tattoos is a weak point for the, those entities to fucking try to get you. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, Noel, what do you think I did to this dude, man? The, did he even have a chance? Bro, not even I, I. Like when he started showing all like the vi- like his stuff and like playing videos, like I already knew, like because I know how you are. I just I know you was <laughs> laughing at this dude, and <laughs> he embarrassed. Listen, me. Listen, when I saw that he didn't have the ability to articulate what he said, and then he's playing videos of white people and who he wants to take as proof that I'm a Neanderthal. I mean, brother, if I'm a Neanderthal, what the fuck are you? Because I'm running fucking circles around you. Yeah, no. uh, that, was, that, was, that was embarrassing. That was embarrassing. Anyone who is a young Pharaoh fan, um, I, I have, after that interview, if you still fucking fuck with this dude, I don't know what to tell you because that dude got his ass whooped. I mean, we're, we're talking about like a UFC TKO in 30 seconds. This guy got his ass handed to him, straight up handed to him. And, and, and this is going to be anyone on Twitter who decides to step in that fucking debate forum with me on a podcast stream, whatever. Yo, Nick Fuentes, where you at? Nick, you calling out Jews all the time. Why don't you actually debate a Jew? See, this is the thing. Uh, oh, oh, by the way, Sartain opened his mouth yesterday. Uh, since, uh, what was it? Since, uh, April when I went in Las Vegas in his studio and fucking kicked his ass, uh, Sartain been quiet about numerology and astrology for three months. All of a sudden yesterday he's on the whatever podcast and all of a sudden he opens his mouth about astrology again. Why? Because he's debating women. (laughs) Go ahead and debate astrology, numerology with women guys. Go have, have fun. So have fun, Sartain. Have fun, Fresh and Fit. Fresh and Fit talking shit about numerology and astrology, but they're cowards because they know if they debate me, I'll make them look like the fucking fools that they are. And by the way, Myron, I make fucking five times what you make. Fucking clown. <laughs> Motherfucker flexing that he makes a six figures of uh, what, is, what is it, like low six figures? And you have a fucking hit show? You're a clown. If I had the same fucking ratings you did on YouTube, I'd be making 10, 15, 20 times what you're making. This is clown. You're not even a good capitalist, bro. And, and, and by the way, Myron, uh, when the cat year ends, which is this year since you're born 87, we'll see how much more fame you have. We'll see how much more gas you have in the tank because it ain't going to be this easy next year, pimp. For me, it's always easy because I'm me. But anyone on this app, and this is an open invitation for anyone who thinks they have any clout. Big House, send me a DM. I've been meaning to talk to you. Uh, Do that right now. Uh, I need to talk to you about something. Anyways, anyone in here who thinks they can find someone who can debate me, bring it. Absolutely bring it. I'm fucking Mike Tyson in his prime over here when it comes to fucking lip boxing. I'm telling you that right now. No one is going to debate me. I will destroy anybody. I kind of feel like Randy Orton right now. I'm taking out these fucking so-called legends. (laughs) Young Pharaoh. What what a disappointment, man. 
I mean, listen, this has never happened to me, but I imagine young Pharaoh is like, damn, is it just like straight up off his reputation. Young Pharaoh, you probably saw like a, a girl in the bar. You're probably thinking, damn, that bitch is bad. You wake up in the morning and you see a fucking nasty motherfucker. That's because you were drunk. You had rose colored glasses on. This guy was a joke. I exposed him. Anyone who else wants some, bring it. Yo, let's not, let's not talk about that weed he was trying to show in his camera. Oh, my God. Dude, that's a Mexican brown shit. I'm like, bro, I'm smoking top of the line. Absolutely top. Bro, I'm going to be dead honest. If anyone smokes swag out around me, they might get smacked. I don't even want to smell that shit. That's the shit that's Fuck. fucking them up. <laughs> yeah, maybe. 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 All right. Let's see. Got a few more people want to talk. All right. I think the reason why he was saying he's going to be a trillionaire is because the CCP promised him that. <laughs> yeah, I bet he is. You know, just like a fucking uh, whore. So fucking promise you everything in the world. All right. Who's new in here? What you got in your mind? For the Patreon, do I just... It, say I want to start the GG3 Academy. Do I buy the first tier? The Patreon? Yeah. What, no, no. Don't, the the GG33 Academy has nothing to do with Patreon. Oh, okay. What should I buy if I want to start the Academy? Then you go to GG33 Academy. All right. Got it. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. All right. No, unlike everyone else, I'm not actually trying to you know sell products and stuff like that, but... If people ask, it is what it is. Anyways, Noel, um, you know, uh, regardless, do you remember what I did January, December 2021? Do you remember what I told GG33? It depends. You told us a bunch of things. Uh, crypto. Oh, to sell everything, yeah. yeah. I told everyone in GG33 to sell all their crypto in December 2021. Has crypto recovered since then? Nope. Nope. <laughs> oh, man. Wait, wait, wait. All XRP those people? won the case. What, what happened? Yeah, I know. They, they See, I, didn't I predict XRP would win the case? Yeah. I said they would. And, they and then I said nowhere. nothing would happen. You know, uh, the, 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 these these motherfuckers, it's, uh, they're like virgins ejaculating for the first time, thinking they're going to get more and more. <laughs> <laughs> nah, XRP is a joke. Uh, if, and if you made a couple money, a, a couple dollars on the wave, cool. But anyone who thinks XRP is going to be the one, you're out your fucking mind. Anyways, Noel, thanks for coming in here. Everyone, thanks for... Uh, Tuning in. If anyone wants to debate and you have an actual audience, bring it. This has been a GG33 production.